I have a vagina that can talk. She let me fuck the piss out of her. Welcome to Satan Screener, where I had to watch 666 bad movies in order to get my soul back. Tonight, I'm looking at Wimps. Hey, Mark, it's a movie based on your life story. Hey, guys, look on the brighter side. They could have made us raid the men's locker room. <laughs> The Valentine's Day episode, and I got a romantic comedy. Of course, I got a romantic comedy from Chuck Vincent. Poor Francis. He must be really desperate to ask a hooker out to dinner. Oh, it, it's not his fault. Fran can be pretty slow at times. He probably didn't even know. So this movie was based on your life story. I'm not a cop. Want a ball? <laughs> so it's directed by Chuck Vincent, who you might know more for his movies that he directed that's in the back section of the video store. Yeah, he directed pornos. But he also made some kind of cheap, uh, low-budget, um, TNA comedy and horror movies, um, before he died of AIDS in 1990. Sorry. You guys are so low on the evolutionary ladder. You, you think you hadn't even evolved past the amoebocyte stage of life yet? Uh, <laughs> actually, this is a good movie. A lot of people will pass it over because, you know, it's a sex comedy that basically rips off the Cyrano de Bergerac uh, storyline. <laughs> the acting in it is really good and you can feel sympathetic toward the characters, so it has all that going for it. Stars uh, Louis Bonanno and how they say it on here. Uh, Deborah Blazdell. Tracy Adams. Yeah, it has porn stars in it. So they go by alternative names in the legit movies when they're more known for, yeah, the other movies. Closing time, sleepyhead. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. It's exit time. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to be here so long. I was just trying to get some studying done. I... Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. I was on my way. You better turn around before you fall down. a chick in the pussy. You don't know me, but I've watched you through eyes of admiration day after day. Your smile, your walk, your hair, your, your perfume. 
have all caused me great anxiety and pain. The few times that I've approached you, I, I've become speechless with unknown feelings as I stare into your sensitive eyes. Dear Hollywood movies, whenever somebody types in one of your films, how come no one ever notices the space bar? So the whip of the movie, Louis Bonanno, helps his jock roommate pick up a smart girl, and that's the plot line of the movie. But he doesn't know that the smart girl is actually the girl he met at the library. He finds this out when they go on a double date. Tracy, I'd like you to meet Roxanne. Nice to meet you. It's Sleepyhead. You've met? Well, sort of, at the library. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Yours too, Tracy. Well, I've made reservations at the Golden Coach. I hope that's all right with you, Roxanne. Isn't that a little expensive? Roxy, don't worry about it. We don't have to pay for it. And I know exactly what I'm going to order, too. <laughs> Another fun fact about this double date is that the jock set up the wimp with a hooker. Played by Comic Zeal by Sarah Jane Hamilton, a.k.a. Veronica Hart. Oysters, Botticelli, Les Cargo, Les Cargo. This looks like snails. It is. And Madame's Fruit Loops and Beer Chaser. Thanks, buddy. Pal. No. Now, where were we? Uh, now that, that I did do in college. Uh, you went on a double date with a hooker? No, not the dating the hooker, the eating the cereal with beer. Of course, now I don't really drink it with beer because uh, I'm an alcoholic, so I do it with Diet Mountain Dew. So, whips, check it out. It gives you good ideas. You know what? This is actually pretty good. So, yeah, my mouth's going to be pretty full with eating blueberry, but hey, check Wimps out. It is a really good movie. Um, I know it's kind of predictable. You know they're going to end up together, but isn't that how every freaking romantic comedy ends? And uh, these people are really likable, so check this one out and eat blueberry with Diet Mountain Dew. It's actually good. No, uh, that beautiful man. And plus, this movie has any sprinkle in it. I got him.